Gobat from Bunga Prime Resort Establishment. My position is Assistant Manager and the length of service is nine, uh, more than nine years. My, expect, my expectation is about the, the training of these security services. Sir Armand. Thank you. Good morning. I am Armand Du Gonzalez from Hotel in Philippines, regular employee, position, security in charge, rate of service, 21 years, training expectation, more secured and safe of our guests. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm, my name is Glenn Rico from Sabin Research Hotel, from Oak City. Position ko ay private security. Six years, gusto lang ko ang mag-tongan na training ko sa TO. Thank you. Next, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Andres Hita Cunha, owner of Dom Sower Hotel and Restaurant, Borongan. I've been in in the hotel industry for 32 years. And uh, my expectation of this training is to improve the security service of my guests. Thank you. Um, no additional uh, knowledge for safety and security. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Richie Pinero from Budget Hotel, Catalan City. Um, uh, position is housekeeping, head department. Um, I'm 16 years na uh, Budget Hotel. Ana kung isipit lang dini, gawat ang mga barangay ng may sirkula pa kaming kasi trabaho. Maupay nga aga ma'am, welcome po sa Takloban. Uh, maupay nga aga ato niya tayo. Ako ngayon si Joshua Idana. Uh, position is F&B Head uh, uh, sa Basic Rooms of Dial Budget. Uh, expectation ko po sa training na ito is matulungan po yung safety sa training na ito. Good morning everyone. My name is Ruth Cho and I am now connected at Basic Rooms Budget Hotel. My position is operations manager and my length of service is about five years, but in this in the industry of hotel, I'm about more than 15 years. And my training expectation of this training is to know all the safety measures of the hotel. Good morning everyone. I am Daniel Venezuela the security officer of this company, Summit Hotel. But eventually, I am nine days old. Because I'm having po sa akin, ma'am, is very important. ako ng dati kong officer. My expectation is to be a certain other pertaining to security. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next is our Mark. Good morning, everyone. I am Armal, our position. Go Hotel Security, let of service, 14 years as a security. Training expectation, additional knowledge for safety and security in our hotel. <coughs> Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Justin May Perez from Go Hotel Spot Lobby. Uh, position duty manager, length of service two years. <coughs> Expectation to gain more information and knowledge regarding handling safety and security procedures. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ito tayo sa next row, or last row. Okay, ma'am Zen. Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Zinaida Pagsibino. I manage uh, Kaluayan Papana Resort and Restaurant. Um, I'm the manager for the last 12 years. We're actually 14, but uh, after you left, uh, we were off for two years, so it's more like 12 years. Kaluwayan, Pamaylan Resort and Restaurant in Samar. 
okay, Chinese protection to learn anything from this training and apply the same to both the resort and to our guests. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, sir. Uh, good morning. I'm Gasper Consiguero from Caluayan Pabayla. My position is uh, Operation Supervisor, Chief of Services about 10 years. Training expectation is to learn more about hotel measures for uh, security. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Roberto Bagonyata. Position is Team Maintenance, Rent of Service. Um, 12 years, the expectation is to learn about resort security. So, sir, I'm going to name sir. Hey. Uh, hello. Good morning, everyone. DOT, good morning, ma'am. Uh, speaker, nothing good morning. I am Victor Olingay, uh, in short, week, uh, from Oriental Hotel Liti, Palo, uh, position chief security officer. Length and service 10 years at Oriental Hotel Liti. Training ex expectation is to learn more about security and guest of property. Next, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rara Soroa from Boyfriend <coughs> Agaga. It is a resort in Alvera Leite. My position is a cashier as well as safety officer, and then I'm seven years of service. My expectation is um, to know more about uh, Department of Tourism and Security Services. Thank you so much, sir. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Guadalupe Borinaga from Baybayo Niagara, Nagalguera Leite. I am currently the safety officer and security in charge as well as the purchaser of Baybayo Niagara. And I, I am in 11 years of service. And my training expectation is to, have, um, to know more knowledge and security tips that could be applied to our workplace and especially to our home. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Roy. Hi, uh, morning everyone. Uh, my name is Roy Munihar. I'm from Munihar Espertas Resort in El Bayo City, Samar. And then uh, I am Pollution Control Officer of uh, the company. My length of service is five years. My training station is to, uh, to know more about the public safety. Okay, next man. Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Jelen Vergara from Hotel Costa Brava. Um, position is admin assistant. Um, one year in service. My training expectation is to learn more about safety and security that we could apply in our company. Good morning everyone. My name is Fatima from Hotel Costa Brava. Uh, my position is apprentice. And length of service is one year, and my expectation is to learn more about security and safety. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jason Lagade from Hotel Estrella Aquaman. Position housekeeping floor team leader, length of service, three years and four months. Training and expectation to be able to know the standard of security and to be able to attract the risk. Okay, good. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jul Maran <coughs> from Hotel Estrella. Um, length of services in coming six years. And six years. the expectation is to know, know more about uh, our guest safety and security. Thank you, Sir Mar. Next, Sir Jerry. Mabuhay, mga kanyaagat, mga kailatanan. I'm Jerry Florano. Um, I'm the Area Resident Manager for Hotel XYZ and Zipa Residences. Land of service, I've been with the company for more than eight years since the pre-opening. Um, my expectation, um, of course, is to learn the, from the basic to extensive um, basic procedures and measures to further um, develop a very good 
security both for our associates and for our guests. Tama nga sa dapat. Last but not the least, si ma'am. Mabay nga nga, I'm Jessica Fadi from Hotel XYZ. Um, position, human resource officer. Length of service one year and training expectation. Learn the basic safety, security, and the legality at all. Alright, so ayan, uh, lahat kayo, no, ang expectation is to learn more about safety and security. Okay, so this time we will have uh, pre-exam. So we, uh, para malaman na namin kung marami kayo, uh, may matutunan kayo. But, um, si Sir Ray Tagle will be facilitating the exam. It, uh, time frame natin is 15 minutes. <clears throat> By the way, uh, you will be, you know, may distribute na one for sheet of paper. Diyan nyo ilagay yung mga answer nyo. This is a pre-exam. And later this afternoon, before we end our training, uh, meron din kayong post-exam. So that would be your uh, final exam talaga if you really know the training or the safety and security training. Uh, before, before taking the exam, no, please... Just write your uh, uh, aliases or pseudonym. No, don't write first your real name. Para hindi tayo magka-alaman kung, kung ano yung sino yung mataas, kung sino yung mababa. <coughs> so just write your uh, aliases or pseudonym. So, alimbawa, si Pogi. O kaya si Coco, Mar Coco Martin. Bigay nyo. Kayo lang nakakaalam na. Not everybody knows your pseudonym. Okay. So this is just a multiple choice. Okay, just uh, write the letter, the best letter. Okay, this is question number one. What is the primary responsibility of a lodging security guard? Letter A to capture stealing persons in the property. Letter B to maintain peace and order in the property. Letter C, to protect people and property by preventing crimes and incidents. Letter B. Number two, to become an effective lodging security guard, you would need to be physically and spiritually fit able to build strong working relationship to law enforcement agencies letter c independent and not to rely with law enforcement agencies letter d all of the above number three When is it legal to refuse or receive guests? Letter A, if a guest looks like he or she cannot pay because of his, her <coughs> posture and look. Letter B, if a guest checking in has a disability or went into the property in a wheelchair. Letter C, if a guest walks in the property drunk or disorderly and is creating noisance. And letter D, all of the above. Letter A, incident report. Letter B, diary. Letter C, activity report. And letter D, financial report. Number five. <coughs> this is a report that focuses on one unusual event. 
that happened during your shift and that the event directly affected security. Letter A, statement to the media and tell them what happened to the injured person. Letter C, show care and concern and offer all possible assistance. And letter D, do not report so that there will be no record that the property had an injured guest. Number nine. He or she is an armed individual engaged in killing or attempting to kill other persons. Is she a marksman, sociopath, letter C, active shooter, and letter D, psychopath? Number 10. How to handle a bomb threat when talking to the person? Letter A. Threaten the caller that you will have them captured by the NBI. Letter B. Do not tell anyone about the threat and just keep it to yourself. Letter C. Try to memorize the exact words of the caller and write down all informations. And letter D. All of the above. Eleven. What is the world's largest industry? Letter A. Travel. Letter B. Tourism. Letter C. Travel and tourism. Number twelve. Lodging property must use reasonable blank to prevent injury or loss to individual individuals at the property. Letter A, attention. Letter B, effort. Letter C, care. Letter D, love. Number 13. What is the primary responsibility of a lodging security guard? Letter A, to protect customers. Letter B, to protect property. Letter C, to protect people and property by preventing crimes and accidents. And letter D, to talk to no one except in line of duty. Fourteen. Give three lodging security guards do when patrolling the property. Letter A, random inspection. We need three answers here. Letter B, do not report incidents. Letter C, backtrack. Letter D, not protecting assets. Letter C, take notes, records, observation, and activities. Fifteen, give three general contacts of a lodging security guard. Letter A, attitude. Letter B, uncooperative. Letter C, courtesy. Letter D, immoral. And letter E, cooperation. So we also need three answers there. Question number fifteen. Sixteen. What is one attribute of being an effective lodging security guard? Incompetent in hunting technology, physically and spiritual fit, independent and not relying on law enforcement agencies, letter D, able to build a strong working relationship to law enforcement agencies.
17. An equipment that allows security personnel to check vulnerable areas quickly and often. Letter A, battery. Letter B, radio. Letter C, your eyes. Letter D, closed circuit TV or CCTV. Eighteen. Patrolling techniques that you can use during patrolling. Talk to no one. Talk to one another. Letter B. Backtrack. Letter C. Do not pass on the red light. And letter D. Take notes. Maintain. What are incidents or situations that you need to make an incident report? Letter A, emergencies or accidents. Letter B, crimes reported on the property. Letter C, conflict between you and other persons. Letter C, civil unrest, strikes, demonstration. And letter E, all of the above. Twenty. Three patrolling equipments that you need during your shift. Letter A, flashlight. Letter B, food. Letter C, ball pen. Letter D, flashbang. And letter E, checklist. <clears throat> 21. What is the right word when someone is prevented from leaving until law enforcement officer arrives to take the person into custody? Letter A, arrest. Letter B, custody. Letter C, detain. Twenty-two. The key to handling emergency is letter A, training, letter B, seminar, letter C, planning. Twenty-three. During an active shooter situation, what should you do? Give at least three. Letter A, know the location of the threat. Run, letter B, run and take over. Letter C, report the incident to the authorities. Letter D, hide where the shooter is less to find you. And letter E, fight as the last option. Twenty-four. What are the three categories of a terrorist group? Letter A, crusader. Letter B, joiner. Letter C, criminals. Letter D, thrill seeker. Sorry, lima pala. And letter E, craziest. Give at least three categories. Okay. Number 25. Give at least three tactics used by a terrorist. Letter A, bombing. 
letter C, arson, letter C, kidnapping, and letter D, all of the above. Okay? Okay na po tayo? Okay, can you please uh, pass your papers? Tama ba? Tama ba ang answers? This is your day, this. <clears throat> okay, so you may take your break now while I'm discussing module one. Okay, so module one is all about hotel and resort security introduction. Okay. The objective of this, uh, upon completion of this module, the participants will understand the economic importance of the hotel and resort security in the tourism industry, the importance of the organizational structure of, the, of every property, full implementation of the responsibilities of a hotel and resort security guard, and its important attributes and duties of a hotel and security guard. So that is our objective for this module. So the economic importance of travel and tourism in industry in the Philippines, the travel and tourism is the world's largest industry in, the, uh, in our, I know, uh, tourism and travel and tourism is the world's largest industry. Sino naka-answer ng tama? Yon. Letter C, yon. Okay, in 2017, travel and tourism in the Philippines contributed to 21% to gross domestic prof profit or GDP or 3.35 trillion pesos. And in 2017, travel and tourism employed almost 7.8 million Filipinos, which is about 19.2% of our country's total workforce. So kita ang travel and tourism ang pinakadako na industry sa buong mundo. Okay? So let's watch this video. Sorry. Employing 5.2 million Filipinos in various industries. That's 12.8% of total workforce. Revenue from inbound visitors reached 313.6 billion pesos, while those of domestic visitors reached 2.1 trillion pesos. In average, a foreign tourist stays 9.29 nights and spends 100 US dollars and 23 cents per day while in the country. Among the top five markets, visitors from the USA and Australia stay the longest at 10 to 11 nights. While visitors from Korea recorded the highest spending of 192 US dollars and 50 cents a day. Tourists with the highest per capita spending during their stay in the Philippines are Canada, Australia, and Korea. Because of aggressive marketing, inbound visitors surged from 3,091,993 in 2007 to 5,967,005 in 2016. The top source markets are Korea, USA, China, Japan, Australia, followed by Taiwan, Singapore, Canada, United Kingdom, Malaysia, Hong Kong, India, Germany, Saudi Arabia, and France. New markets are rapidly expanding, which include Indonesia, France, Thailand, Vietnam, Netherlands, 
Switzerland, Russia, Sweden, Norway, and UAE. 98.79% of visitors arrive by air. 90.20 are independent travelers. And 53.40% have visited the Philippines more than once. 57.89% of visitors came to the country for holiday and leisure. Manila won the most number of air arrivals, followed by Cebu and Calibo. Bay Cruises brought substantial international visitors, such as Ennis Caledonian, Seaborn Soldier, and Ennis Legend of the Seas, dropping by the seaports of Manila, Palawan, Cebu, Boracay, and Pangasinan. The Philippines has 216,088 rooms, be provided by 9,329 accommodation establishments. Aside from Metro Manila, other destinations frequently visited by tourists are Cebu, Davao, Camarines Sur, Zambales, Albay, and Boracay. The tourism industry is a key driver of economic growth. Inbound tourism ranked third as a major source of exports. The National Tourism Development Plan of 2016 to 2022 envisions to develop a globally competitive, environmentally sustainable, and socially responsible tourism industry that promotes inclusive growth through employment generation and equitable distribution of income, thereby contributing to building a foundation for a high trust society. For more information, visit www.tourism.gov.ph. Okay, so tayo yun, no? Tourism and travel and tourism industry. Okay, so this is our organizational chart. No? It's a standard organizational chart of a hotel or resort. But it would depend <coughs> sa inyong property kasi meron tayong mga small and, small and medium uh, sizes of a hotel. So, but basically this, this is the uh, standard. So again, so as 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 we know kanina, marami tayong uh, different departments no na below, but most of us is security. Okay, so what are the responsibilities of a hotel security or hotel and resort security? So kung ang Philippine National Police is ang ilahang ano tagline is to serve and protect. The security naman for a hotel and resort is the primary responsibility is to protect people and property by preventing crimes and accidents. So, malaki yung ating responsibility sa ating mga properties. Okay? Next. So, uh, other, ano, other responsibilities are maintaining guest room security. Controlling access to the property, so kayo yung nag-control. Protecting assets, ano yung, ano, ano yung mga assets na ginaprotect natin no, sa ating individual properties. Handling emergencies, so tayo yung nauuna mag-handle ng emergency, hindi yung ating mga uh, 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 front desk. No? So nauuna si security. Investigating incidents. Tayo din, yung mga, mga incident. Meron na ba kayong mga incident sa property ninyo? So, sino yung nag-una nag investigate dyan? Then, keeping security records, of course. So, pagpasok pa lang ng ating guest at saka paglabas nila. So, tayo yung nagre-record ng kanilang mga uh, ins and outs. So, ano yung mga kailangan i-record? So, dapat nasa logbooks yan. Following security trends. Ano yung security trends? Okay, so kung ano yung uh, nangyayari sa property ninyo, kayo yung dapat yung nauuna. Hindi yung amo, yung boss, sa lahat ng mga security, safety and security measures, si hotel and security yung nauuna. Okay, next. What makes an effective hotel and security? So, paano siya naging epektibo? Of course, application of skills, paano niya apply yung skills na natutunan niya? Pa paano niya i-apply yung skills na natutunan niya ngayon sa training? 
general conduct, ano yung mga conducts, ano yung mga uh, attitudes, or ano yung uh, basic na ginagawa ng isang security. Relationship building. So, paano siya nag, uh, gumagawa ng relationship sa kanyang property, sa mga kasamahan? Especially, uh, not just in the property, but also in the surround, surroundings, no? Nearby, yung mga, kung paano kayo nagko-communicate sa community ninyo. Okay? So, application of skills, yung specific skills development. Ano-ano yung mga specific skills ninyo na na-acquired ninyo? No? So, may mga trainings ba kayo na na-undergo na, under, uh, na previously? Na-apply niyo ba siya? No? So, it's a matter of how you apply it to your property. Then, uh, skill levels. Kung, kung, ano, kung anong uh, level na kayo sa knowledge ninyo on security. Kasi mayroong iba, uh, nakahire lang, di ba? Nakahire ng agency, tapos walang alam. Tapos biglang na-assign sa hotel uh, tourism industry. So, wala siyang alam. So, hindi, hindi niya maka-apply yung kanyang skills or wala siyang skills at all. So better to acquire uh, knowledge and skills on this type of training. And then i-apply siya, of course, sa kung saan kayo nabilong na property. And execution of skills. Kung ano yung uh, dapat yung gawin, no, being a security guard. Hindi lang yung nag-lista ka lang, nag, uh, monitor ka lang, that's not enough being a safety and security officer. Okay. So, general conduct. So, ano yung dapat natin uh, gawin? No? Courtesy, of course. Uh, ngayon sa Davao, ginagawa na natin yung uh, ginag-conduct na ng DOT, yung Filipino brand of service. So, parang very courteous ang ating, ang kanilang uh, paraan no, ng pag-welcome ng guests. So, ang ginastandardize nila yung mabuhay at matayaw. Actually, bago lang kami nag-undergo niyan uh, for the uh, security sector, no? Security department. So, parang very courteous, uh, in a courteous manner, gina-accept gina natin, sir? Gina-receive uh, uh, natin yung guest through uh, mabuhay and matayaw greetings. Kayo sa property ninyo, paano nyo, uh, ano greetings na ginagawa ninyo sa security? So, pag-welcome ng guest. Is there anyone can, ano, uh, share? Ano, may mga, ano, ano kayo sa, yung sa Dusit, di ba? Ano sila, sa Walika, yung sa yung Japanese, yung ano, Shimose. So, paano sa inyong property? Anong uh, ginagawa ninyo greetings? Anyone? Pwede ba share sa amin para alam din namin sa Davao kung paano kayo, yes sir? Brand yan siya eh, brand. Uh, sa Oriental Hotel, ma'am, ginagawa na namin yan, yung tinoro na namin yung uh, uh, Bo, ma'am, uh, good morning, ma'am, sir. Welcome to the Oriental Hotel. Ah, okay, ganun din. So, pero, uh, good morning lang, sir. Hindi yung mabuhay at madayaw. Okay. So, greetings lang siya. So, that is part of the courtesy. So, responsibility. So, general conduct, responsibility. Of course, uh, uh, hotel safety and security is uh, responsible no, sa lahat ng uh, aspect ng security. So, tayo yung uh, responsible dyan. Due process, pag may mga uh, Incidents na nangyayari, so dapat may due process tayong ginagawa. Hindi basta-basta tayo nagre-report. Hindi basta-basta tayo umaak kung ano yung dapat natin gawin. It's a protocol. So may mga protocols tayo dyan. No? Alam ng mga security uh, ano natin. And then, person, uh, cooperation, of course, we have to cooperate if there is an incident or accident that happened to our property. So cooperate tayo sa management, cooperate tayo sa yung mga uh, connecting ano natin like, like yung PNP yung sa ano pa ba uh, sa amin sa Davao 911 no meron pang 911 dito sa inyo meron na ba wala pa 
wala pa. So, yun, uh, nainunan, madali lang siya tawagan, madali ka agad, nag-rescue. Uh, okay, personal integrity. So, personality, uh, hindi, dapat, ano tayo, uh, hindi pa porke security guard lang, wag lang ilang yung security guard. Kasi napakalaki ng kanyang responsibility. Hindi lang siya tanaw-tanaw, tinutitog, lingkod-lingkod yung trabaho niya. Lahat, uh, sa property ko, ano siya, uh, parang, na, tawag ito, na, siya na din gumagawa ng bellman, yung ganyan, nag-a-assist ng guest. Uh, uh, from, ano, arrival, di ba, ginagano niya ng luggage, hinahatin sa front desk, kasi maliit lang din yung property ko, hindi ganun kalaki. So, security guard is very, very crucial. Critical yung kanyang responsibility. Dili lang siya yung una, nag-monitor lang. No? So, uh, of course, yung in kailangan talaga, uh, aside from being yung nag-monitor siya, dapat physically, of course, uh, ano siya, yung presentable, very welcoming. Yan. Uh, kasi ginagawa ng TS Paddy itong hotel and resort security. Para ma-orient, no? ma-well-oriented yung ating mga safety and security guards sa ating property. So kung paano talaga, may may mga iba na hindi ganun ka may alam. So pag-abot sa ating property, wala, wala sila yung ibalan. But this training would really help sa kanila, sa inyo. And also, uh, kayo din as the representative, you can cascade into your property. Okay? Morality and attitude. So, pinaka-importante pa rin sa trabaho is yung attitude. So, kailangan uh, dili na for the <coughs> daghat eh, siya lagi ang trainings, gano'n na siya ka. Kahaw, of course, um, mag-depende sa policy ninyo sa management. Okay, so relationship building to be able uh, to build strong working provincial, regional, and national law enforcement agency. Sinasabi ko na uh, communicate kayo. Uh, you have to establish relationship with your uh, sino yung nire-reporta ninyo, yung PNP or yung uh, mga police stations, no? Kung may mga incident nangyayari sa property. Adapt at creating seamless transition. Ano yung seamless transition? So, complete details. Hindi yung kanang shortcut. No? So, pag sinabing seamless transition, uh, kompleto ang detalye na ibibigay doon sa uh, yung pagbibigyan mo ng uh, information. Okay? Okay. What are the important traits of a hotel and security? Resort and security. A good eye of details. So, dapat keen. Very keen siya, no? In terms of details. Hindi yung matamata lang, imagine, assumption. Okay, so. Ability to noti notice things that are not ordinary. So, kabal naman siguro ta how to detect, no? Like, um, tawag dito yung suspicious. So, alam natin yung sino yung mga suspicious looking na pumapasok sa ating property. So, you have to be uh, particular. Kasi hindi natin alam, nowadays, very ano na yung mga terrorist. Uh, ano sila? Tawag ito? Kanang spooting, kaayo, very professional. Yun pala, no? may gagawin ng hindi maganda sa loob ng property natin. Ability to separate fact from opinion. So, ano yung fact? Yung totoo. Hindi yung gawa-gawa lang. Hindi yung... Uh, Ah, uh, ginaano niya lang, no? Gina tawag ito, gina assumption ba? Nag nag assume siya na yun na yung ano niya, opinion niya yun. So dapat alam niya kung ano yung totoo. Walang labis, walang kulang na report. Then ability to handle technology. So ah, uh, ang mga guards pa natin alam kung paano mag-operate ng CCTV. Sir, ma'am, CCTV, uh, radio, handheld radio, alam ba nila, a smartphone, laptop, kailangan niya, no? Scanners or metal detectors, ano, ano pa yung mga technology na gamit ng security guards. So, dapat alam nila. Okay?
ability to remain calm under pressure. So like sa nangyari ka sa Davao uh, the other day, earthquake na 6.7 magnitude. So maraming property doon na ano. So um, dapat kalmado tayo, hindi tayo pwede mauna. No? Safety first, so linagan na ka kay security guard ka. So dapat ikaw ang mag-secure sa mga guests. So kalma lang. Kung nag-shake-shake na natin, kalma lang ihapon ta. No, di kita mapanik, di kita paragol kay. Minsan na lang mag-handle sa uh, pag-facilitate kung nauna na ka dito, safety first ka, nitaga na ka guna. No? So, kalma lang ta always pag may mga disaster. So, in the Philippines, it is unlawful for a hotel and resort property to refuse to receive a guest on account of his, her. So, di kita pwede mo mag-refuse, no? Or walang discrimination sa ating property. Sa race, so kung ano ang kanyang pinanggalingan, color, sa iyahang pamanit, o oh, itong ba siya, putik ba siya, so walang tayo din na pili. Religion, kung Buddhist ba siya, kung ano siya, so hindi walang discrimination when it, when it comes to our guests. Nationality, and disability. So lahat yan, tinatanggap natin sa ating property. Warm welcome. Okay, kailan natin i-refuse ang guest? Sa inyo, kailan nyo i-refuse yung guest nyo? Hindi nyo tanggapin sa property ninyo. Okay, kung nasay or gumagawa ng ingay, no? Malang uh, yung nuwisan siya. Sino ba ang nag, nag, ano na dito, nag-refuse ng ganon? Yes, yes ma'am. Naka-experience na po kayo ma'am. Yes. Hindi po natin yan siya pwede i-pag-check in. Of course, brings deadly or lethal weapons. Alam na natin yan all over the Philippines, no? Yan talaga yung pinaka-basic rule. As a security guard, hindi kayo pwede magpapasok ng mga may barin. Ako nga, pinalitan ko yung security agency namin bago lang. Kasi, uh, naka-report sa akin, uh, ano na, naka-check-in na, two nights na, karton-karton uh, na Armalite nakapasok sa room. Uh, pero ang sabi nila, magmeron daw silang shooting competition sa Digos. But then again, uh, protocol, hindi talaga siya pwede ipasok. No? Lalo na sa guest room. Kung ipasok siya sa hotel, it should be in the deposit box or in the administrative department. Hindi pwedeng ipasok sa room. Kaya, pinaalis ko yung guards ko, yung agency ko talaga. I really changed my agency. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Eh kung iba ang pakay nun, eh di wala. <laughs> wala wala nag infinity <laughs> kung ganun ang nangyari. Then, next brings belongings that property would not typically receive. Ano yung, ano-ano ang mga bawal sa inyong property? Tumatagap na mga durian sa hotel nila. Kaya yeah, sa'yo ma'am. Sino pa? Oo, walang durian dito sir. Sa, nasa Davao lang. Mara, langka, mga pets, di ba? Fertilizers, mga pesticides. Hindi yan pwede. Na hindi natin yan tinatanggap. So, nino-refuse natin yan. Pero if ever sa property ninyo, okay lang tanggapin kasi revenue naman yun, di ba? Pwede, pero you have to have parang isecure siya in a place. Depende yan sa property. But of course, kung para wala yung ano, to, to make your property safe and secure, hindi na lang tanggapin. Okay? Unwilling or unable to pay for services. Of course, yung mga Ah, uh, hindi naman din natin malaman no kung unable to pay pa siya kasi hindi ba naman pwedeng sabihin na ay ma'am wala pa kayong ibabayad, hindi namin kayo papaspasukin, hindi kami hindi namin kayo check in. So hindi mo yan malalaman not unless man naka-check in na siya, kasi so, wala siyang pambayad. Okay? Okay, next is when can a guest be evicted? So kung kailan siya natin paaalisin? Of course, as I've said, no, yung unable to pay, acts or disorderly or intoxicated, yung lasing, 
or gumagawa ng ingay or nakakadisturbo sa mga guests. Threatens or causes disturbance, yan. And threatens or destroys property. So, meron na ba nitong incident na nanira ng property ninyo? Naka-encounter na ba kayo? Wala pa. Okay, so pero meron yan, no? Yung uh, sa somewhere in Manila, yung malaking hotel doon. Damage niya yung, na-damage niya yung buong, kasi para kasino siya eh. So, na-damage niya yung buong room. Okay, napilitin siya sa sugal. And then, lahat ng property sa rooms niya, na ano niya, na nabasag niya, pinasag niya. So, na-charge, na-charge siya ng hotel, mga 2 million or 3, basta million siya. And then, talagang ipabayad siya. Hindi pwedeng silain lang niya kung na na pilitin siya or natalo siya sa sugal. No? So, you have to ano, uh, collect from the guest pag nanira na siya ng property. Believed to be possessed or is illegal, uh, using illegal drugs. Of course, uh, kung sa guest room naman, uh, security guards are, hindi naman siguro tayo allowed, no? But of course, ang makareport niyan is the housekeeping if there is an illegal act na ginagawa sa loob ng kwarto. So, yun. Uh, pag na-report sa inyo and then positive, then you can actually uh, evict the guest. Becomes ill with a contagious disease, provided the eviction will not endanger the guest. So, ano-ano yung mga contagious disease? Alam natin yun, no? So, uh, chicken pox yung mga nakakahawa. Ikaw, ano, no? Jerry Bates. Chicken pox, ano pa ba? Jerry Bates. Pag-ayon na chicken pox. AIDS? Hindi ah, naman, yes, ah, naman siguro ang AIDS. It's uh, for ano. Ano pa ma? Amulang. Measles. Uh, airborne yung iba. Airborne naman yun. Okay lang yun kasi pwede naman natin uh, gamutin. No? Yung mga contagious. Ano pa yung contagious disease? TB. TB? Malaman mo ba ang guest na TB? Unless magdadala siya TB sa likod. Char lang. Joke lang. So ano pa ha? Nakakahawang sakit. Meningo coxinia ba? Sore eyes. Yes. No, kay kasi magtakdan atong mga empleyado so wala nay magpasok. <laughs> kasi nandiyan si guest naka nakahawa. Okay. So, res property's responsibility in protecting people and belongings. Hotel and resort properties must use reasonable care. Sino na answer ng love? <laughs> Sino na answer ng attention? So, reasonable care to prevent injury or loss to individuals at the property. So, reasonable care. Yung ating ibigay sa ating mga guests. Do not be negligent. Huwag tayong pabaya. No? Uh, if a property fails to use reasonable care in a situation, so, yun. Magiging liable tayo. Mag magiging liable yung property natin. Avoid li liability. So, re legal responsibility of a hotel and resort property is to someone who has been injured or suffered loss because of the hotel and resort properties negligence. So, kung si guest nakasira ng, or sinira yung property, of course, i-collect natin. Pero kung tayo yung may kakabayaan, tayo yung mananagot. No? So, more or less, or more like, likely, tayo yung maka, ano sa guest, uh, makabayad sa ilaha. Like, uh, for example, sa property ko, no, I have an uh, uh, incident na nangyari is, meron kami, aside from the elevator, meron kami stairs. So, yung stairs natin, I think, mga 15 steps siya. So, medyo ano talaga siya, kasi mezzanine, mahaba talaga. So, yung guest, hindi ko alam kung bakit din siya nag-stairs na may elevator naman. Naka-heels ng 6 inches. E, sino ba namang hindi malalaglag doon sa kahaba-habang stairs? Hindi, pagka ano niya, pag step niya on the floor, siguro na off-balance siya of the heels na ginamit niya. Yun, from top, talagang dudududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududududud
para to ensure na wala siyang hahabulin sa amin. And reasonable care. So, ginawa natin yung uh, responsibility natin being the uh, uh, hotel property. Kasi kung pabayaan mo yun, more, more or less, i-demand na ka. Hindi pinabayaan mo siya eh. Diba? Sa, sa property siya na uh, accident. Do kasalanan naman niya yun. Pero of course, nandun siya sa atin. Nandun, nandun siya sa amin. Kaya yun ang ating pinaka, ano, ingatan talaga. Our guests should be protected. Kahit kasalanan pa nila. Okay? So to limit lawsuits from happening, paano natin ma... Uh, yung uh, hotel and security job, meron silang responsibility to recognize potential problems. Dapat alamin muna kung ano yung magiging potential na problema sa hotel or sa inyong property. Then, report potential problem. Of course, hindi lang nakalagbog lang siya and then pagkatapos, i-turn over sa next shift and then doon lang. So, dapat i-report sa management para alam ng management on, on how to act on that. Repair potential problems were reasonable and within the scope of your responsibility. So, paano mo siya i-repair? Paano mo siya i-resolve? So, yun yung ating responsibility. Okay? So, paano natin malimit ng yung liabilities natin? Of course, check facilities, notices. Pag sinabing uh, may nag- may nag-limis na housekeeping tapos very wet. So, nagyan talaga ng caution sign. Hindi pwede pabayaan lang. Kasi anytime, any moment, merong madidisgrass siya. So, pwede, eh, ano natin yan? I-prevent natin from happening, no? Then, safety deposit boxes. As, as I said earlier, yung mga baril, it should be deposited kung meron kayong proper uh, safety deposit box sa inyong property. And then, HASCOM or Hazard Communication in HASMAT. So, dapat alam nyo yan. No? So, kung paano mag-identify uh, ng mga hazardous materials. And then, an emergency protocol. Ano yung mga uh, basic procedures na in-establish ng properties ninyo? So, dapat alam nyo yung emergency protocol. Okay? Next. Questions, clarifications, reactions, ano pa ang functions, wala? Claro ba nyo na? Very basic lang siya. Actually, this is because this is just an introduction of the hotel and uh, resort security training. Okay, so review quiz tayo. Yung kanina, nag-i-answer ninyo. What is the largest, world's largest industry? 